Hey guys, since it's been raining now non-stop for six months, let's do another cheap fishing lure review. Hey guys, a couple months back, I was on eBay, like I spend way too much time on it anyway, and I ordered what's in this little paper Chinese e-packet. I got it for 99 cents. Shipped to me, direct from China, in this little paper Chinese e-packet. It was one of those lures that kept popping up all the time. I'm like, this thing looks kind of stupid. It looks like a little toy. Let's order it and see how stupid and if it works or not. So, I got it. And this is what I ordered. It's listed as a fishing lure popper double tail abs plastic fishing bait 5.5 centimeter plus sharp hook xg for those that haven't followed along much that's a lot of keywords so you get spidered in on just about everything uh sharp hook fishing lure popper double basically every word there uh they're still listed here 99 cents uh, the dealer has not the best rating it's a uh, zhang zhang bai they got 28,000 transactions with 97.7% .7 feedback, which is actually pretty good. If you multiply that times that many deals they get, that's not that's a lot of people that get really crummy stuff sent to them or never get it at all. Anyhow, a bunch of different colors available. Shipping direct from overseas. Uh, I got the description down here below it. Uh, it's got a picture of all the different types of uh, colors they have that come to it. It looks like a silly little plastic lure with some... Uh, Little chartreuse looking wiggly tails, although fish are kind of stupid. Their brain is like the size of like a pea or something, I guess. So you don't have to look really realistic, but just full of the fish. Anyhow, uh, going in here, uh, it says the color comes randomly. It says it's new. I sure freaking hope it is. Uh, weights 10.2 grams. It's 5.5 centimeters. It's ABS plastic with a, pla with a treble hook. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's take a look at it. Anyhow, uh, it's got the measurements on here and everything. So it should be right around three inches with the little squiggly green legs. Comes another one of those little, really cheap little, you know, cellophane packets. Uh, Lila and I did take this out. So we see a little bit of water residue there. Uh, and threw it out in the river. Not the best conditions because the river is really, 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 really muddy. So I figured let's go test out a uh, top water or two. So uh, Lila was cast and I just filmed it going across the surface. Does it work? It does work. It pops pretty well. And Lila doesn't have a lot of experience with top water lures anyway. And still got it to work quite, quite well. Looking at it, uh, feels like a pretty solid piece of plastic there on the actual body. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It's actually pretty substantial feeling. Uh, it's got 3D eyes. It's got a nice fully cupped mouth on it on the popper end. It's got a uh, split ring on it and a split ring here. It's got the one treble hook. Um, like I said, we threw it out a couple of days ago and it's actually a pretty good test to see if it's going to rust or not. There is already a little bit of superficial rust on it. Really small amount, but that's like... 48 hours worth of just sitting there with a little bit of dampness. But it's actually not totally rusted out, which I'm sure a lot of them would be. But uh, the hook, uh, the barbs, it's not a super sharp hook, but it's not one of those really cheap, shiny, silver ones that break all the time. So the hook actually looks a little bit better than what a lot of them do. It's like a standard, almost like a little eagle claw looking hook on it. Um, and then the back here in the back, it looks like it goes straight through, a hole straight through from one side to the other. And those legs just fit in that hole. That's actually the first time I actually tried that. That's quite interesting. So that's the body of the lure. <laughs> and here's your legs. So the legs come and go. Let's see if I can actually get it back in there. <sighs> yep. Just slides right back in. Uh, so I guess there, if you get a decent sized fish, they're just going to pull the legs off of it. And you're out of luck. But, uh, so maybe a little bit of super glue or something would probably work on that. Wouldn't be that hard. A little bit of silicone or something in there. Uh, looking at the texture of the soft plastic here. 
I don't know, it feels a little bit weird. I don't know, I'm sure it's like toxic or something, I don't know. But uh, it's got little uh, glitter in it, and it's not like, it feels more, I don't know, I guess it is actually silicone. I guess that's a feel, it's very silicone-y feeling, like caulk feeling almost. But it's got a little bit of action to them, and I'm sure they would work. And they're pretty solid, pretty substantial. Like I said, you might want to glue it so it doesn't just come right out. Uh, like I said, it works. We got a little bit of footage of it. Uh, for 99 cents, will it work? I'm sure it will. It's got a big treble hook hanging down there, so if you're going to use it near any type of grass or anything, I'll be uh, basically catching a lot of, uh, you know, salad. But it pops pretty well, and it looks it looks like a toy. But does it work? Yeah, it works pretty well. So anyway, I'll put a link down below in the description for it, too, if for some reason you're interested in it. Uh, it's still 99 cents, free shipping. Take you about a month to get it, but uh, it works, and it's actually pretty cool. You know, just like I said, put a little bit of glue on there. Otherwise, you're going to lose the little legs on it. But uh, anyhow, like I said, it's been raining nonstop since basically uh, ice out on the Susquehanna. Crazy. Now, back home, they got all the flooding and everything from Florence. So all those down south in the Carolinas, be careful. I uh, miss you guys, and... Uh, be careful if you're out there and all the flooding and stuff, guys, all right? But, uh, anywho, now we're expecting the Susky to come up again. Go figure. But, uh, oh well. I might actually film another one of these, but I'm going to post this up in a little bit. Like I said, the link's down below. Click on it. If you haven't, please click and subscribe to Fish Yacker YouTube channel. Let me know what you want to see. And, uh, we'll keep getting these in, especially now that, uh, we can never seem to get much fishing on the river in. Because it's too muddy. All right, guys. Catch on the water. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.